All right, so this is section 6.1, area between two curves. Okay, so last semester you found the area between a curve, right? But the problem is uh, it was only through uh, touching the x-axis. So now we're going to see between two random curves when it comes to it, or more functions. We can, you know, uh, we'll slowly get into uh, two or three different types of functions and you know the, bound the boundaries between those as well. But for now we're just going to figure out you know between two curves themselves. So in general, what we're talking about is let's suppose we have a curve here. And a curve there and you know we want to find the area from a to b All right here's our boundary points there so this is the region we're looking for here okay. so if right here so let's say this is f of x and this is g of x okay so how this is going to go about is you know finding the area or the distance between here so essentially so if we just rewrite this and redraw this So usually if we just take the integral of f of x means finding the total area between here. But the problem is if I find the total area, that includes a shaded region I don't want, right? The non-shaded region. So what we want to do is well, we want to find the distance between here and there. Like that, that was our particular rectangle, right? Right. So the thickness is always delta x. You know, that's that hasn't changed. But again, if this is f of x, and this is g of x itself. What's the, dis the distance between here and here? Well, that's just subtraction of the functions, right? So the function f of x minus g of x, right? So that's the actual distance or the, the height of this rectangle. And the good thing is this works for normally if it's beneath as well. So again, let's say this is a function and the other function is down here. So if we want to find the integral again from a to b, that uh, portion, and again, here's just f of x, this is g of x. So if we do our... Tr our rectangle there okay this distance is still going to be f of x minus g of x now the cool thing is because this is negative it ends up being a positive right so you know uh, normally would have would take two integrals right this integral from here to here and this integral here to here but notice if we take the total integral I and mean, if we do the same process right it makes sense why we're subtracting here but why why subtract here well we're technically adding a negative right so we're subtracting the overall area between underneath the curve will be negative, makes it a positive, which is pretty cool. That's why we use the same formula when we subtract, because it's essentially this is going to be that happening. Right, so it ends up being addition of the two portions. But again, notice we still have the same subtraction of that portion. And that ends up being what our equation is going to be when we define areas between two curves. So the area A of a region bounded by the curve y equals f of x and y equals g of x, and the lines x equals a and x equals b. Again, where f and g are always continuous, we're always going to be dealing with continuous functions um, when it comes to it. But again, uh, more importantly is one function is strictly greater than or equal to the other one, right? So you, you could see one is taller than the other one, right? Bigger. So there's a, a difference between them itself. The area between these curves from a to b is the integral of a to b of the subtraction of the two functions. So we're just going to take the integral of the subtraction of the functions. And the easiest, I always remember when it comes to uh, finding areas of between two curves, it's, you know, top minus bottom, right? So, you know, f of x is the top function, g of x is the bottom function, so top minus bottom. And I think that's the easiest way to figure out, you know, you know, to memorize uh, this type of area itself. Okay. So let's try some examples. All right, so first example here is find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equals e to the x and y equals 2x and is bounded by the sides x equals 0 and x equals 2. Okay. So first got to figure out which is top and which is bottom, right? Because then we got to figure out which one we're subtracting because if you do the opposite, we're actually going to get a different answer. So let's just try to quickly draw this and see what's going on. Okay. So we're going from 0 to 2. All right, so let's just say this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, so let's stretch it out a little bit. Okay. And we're just going to do a little t-chart, right? So if I said, you know, if x equals 0, y equals going to be 1, right? So it's going to be x 0, y equals 1 here. Okay. If x equals 1, we get e. So e is roughly 2.7-ish, uh, about here. And notice this keeps going, right? This is going to be x equals 2. That's e squared. 
you know, that's an even bigger one. So we know it's going to be going curving up like that, right, too. Now let's figure out the other one. And the other one's pretty straightforward because it's just, a, you know, a, a line. It's just y equals 2. So, you know, if x equals 0, we get 0. If x equals 1, we get 2 out. If x equals 2, we get 4 out. So notice the e to the x is always above the, the uh, y equals 2x. So this is the e to the x function, and this is the y equals 2x. So we want to find the area from here all the way to 2, so 2 to 4 there. So according to our equation, area is going to equal the integral from 0 to 2, because that's our bounding portions, of the top minus the bottom, or in other words, e to the x minus 2x and dx. And now this one, we just straight to, uh, take the integral and just you know evaluate at those two values. So integral of e to the x is just e to the x. This is going to be 2x squared over 2, right? evaluated at 0 and 2. You know, these cancel, so we just get e to the x minus x squared, evaluate it at 2 and 0. Okay. So let's plug it in. So if I plug in 2, we get e to the second power minus 4, minus. What happens when we plug in 0? Well, this ends up being 1, right? e to the 0 is just 1, and that's just going to be 0 itself. So we're going to have e to the second minus 5 is our area. And you can leave it like that. You know, you don't have to get the exact value if you don't want to. But, you know, you can just plug in e to the 2 and just subtract 5 from it itself. That's good enough. All right, let's try another example. So find the area of the region, uh, find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equals x squared and y equals 5x minus x squared. And it's bounded by the sides 0 and 2 as well. So same thing, just going to quickly draw and see what's going on. All right, so y equals x squared is just a parabola. Right, so here, 1 and 1, and then 2, 4. So is it the parabola going like this? And then the other one is 5x minus x squared. So again, just using a quick little t-chart. So if x equals 0, we get this. If x equals 1, we get 5 minus 1 is 4. And if x equals 2, we get 10 minus 4, which is 6. kind of like that. So there's our region. Right here. So notice this parabola will go up this way, and this parabola will go down that way. But again, we just care about the bound between 0 and 2. Okay. Right, so this area is going to be the integral from 0 to 2 of top minus bottom. So this is the top function, and this top function was this one here. And the bottom function is just x squared, so it's going to be 5x minus x squared minus x squared. Okay, And again, we just integrate using our old power rule itself. Okay? So this is going to be 5x squared over 2. This is going to be x to the third over 3. And this is going to be, oh, actually, we could put these together. So, well, I could just, I'll do it afterwards. So this is going to be um, uh, that. Okay. So, putting these together, we get 5x squared over 2. This is minus 2 
x to the thirds over 3, evaluate from 0 to 2. And again, now we just plug it in and see what we get out. So plug in 2, um, we're going to get what? 2 times 2 is 4, times 5 is uh, 20, divided by 2 is 10. Plug in 2, so 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, over 3. And if you plug in 0, everything goes away, right? So it's just 10 minus 16 over 3. And let's see exactly what we get there. That gives us approximately 6.46. So 4.6, that's like 6, 7. And there's our area between the curve itself. Okay. So a couple more examples, that way you guys get the hang of it as well. So here's go to question one. So if you guys were in class, uh, you guys would probably be doing this on your own or with partner or two. All right, so question one. So find the area of the region found of y equals uh, 2x and y equals negative <coughs> 5x. Again, from 0 to 2. So, same thing. Let's just see what's going on here. 